Greetings and thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I am Tavetta Patterson. I invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you'll receive new videos as they become available. My mission and purpose in life is to help people discover and live their purpose. And I do that through writing and through public speaking. And today I want to share a very personal experience that I share in a book entitled From Morning to the Morning, An Inspirational Journey to Peace. And here we go. Monday, August 5th, 2013 at 7 a.m. I encountered the most challenging experience of my life. I was called to the hospital to be with my mother during her final moments on earth. Although the situation did not look good, I knew it had to work together for good. When my husband and I arrived in the hospital room, I wrapped my right arm around my mother. She laid her head on my right shoulder. I placed my left hand in the hand of my husband and we all rested our faith in God. I had a very clear understanding of what it means to fully rely on God for strength, for life, for being able to continue to stand and believe. Once my mother took her final breath, I felt the presence of God closer to me than I had ever experienced in my life. I left that experience as a different person in search of a new normal for my life because I do not believe in the grief recovery process. You have a return to the same normal. It's a continual process of creating a new normal. And so I share this video and I wrote this book and a corresponding program in hopes that I can help other people grow through grief instead of being stuck in grief. I believe that grief does not willingly give you your life back. You have to choose to take your life back. And we are in the year 2020. It will be seven years this year since my mother has passed. And while I am able to discuss the process of her transition and discuss grief, I understand that there are people in various stages of grief. And so I encourage you to take the steps to find a way to continue to live. I encourage you to take the steps to seek professional help for me that was in the form of an individual therapist. I attended group therapy sessions. I attended grief recovery workshops. I prayed. I sought God. I sought solace in my husband and family members and my closest friends. And I ensured that I worked to build a support team who would help me stay dedicated to living because I wanted to one, honor the legacy of my mother with the life that I chose to continue to live. And so I encourage you to consider ways that you can honor the legacy of your loved one who has passed. I encourage you to Seek ways to make joy and allow joy into your life on a daily basis. Sometimes for me, it is looking at pictures of my mother, creating scrapbooks, sharing in public forums about the grief recovery process. I share at corporations, at colleges, with community groups, families, individuals, whoever I can share light with and joy and some of the sunshine that I've found a way to discover on a daily basis. 
that's how I have decided to spend the rest of my life being light and love to help other people because I don't believe any pain will ever be wasted I do believe that we get to choose whether pain is going to be a prison or a platform to help other people. And so I choose to use my platform to help other people. And so I thank you for viewing and listening to my journey through the grief recovery process. I encourage you to share this video with someone and continue to make the rest of your life the absolute best of your life. God bless you.